wants to run past this. everybody. He's going to straight away lock in the Vladimir, so I'm very upset. I wanted the Pantheon. We saw the counter pick not work at all. That's the Talon. Certainly is. However, still will get to that super strong stage as Spirit's going to find Score. Score puts the Bramble back between them and is now actually going for the battle. They want to try and switch the aggro. Spirit steals it away and Score has to flash, dodges the Q, but no, it doesn't even matter as Spirit just jumps on him with the safeguard. My god, first one. Well, it has been from time to time. From time to time, yes, but this game, once again, it nope. is pawn playing. Agreed. Absolutely fine, as Marin and Spirit are going to catch up with Smeb, who's just trying to clear as many minions as he possibly can before he inevitably dies. And that's the second one for Spirit. Cleaning up here in the early game. I mean, the control ward is stuck in the tri brush. Easy axe. <gasps> we oh, saw the. I like Smitty, how the false it. gun blade storyline actually happened. <laughs> yeah, I know. We had a LeBlanc no, we didn't with gun blade. Sell it. Oh, God. Arrow's going to land on to Kramer. He's exploding so much damage. He's trying to get something off before he dies, but no. Not enough under death. And we've seen this before from other teams with... God. Martyr and Depth are going to turn up. Smeb's going to get in here. He does have Flash and Slicing Maelstrom, remember. Can Score get the steal on this Baron as Maron's taking a lot of damage. Equalizer doesn't do necessarily as much as we were expecting. Score gets in there, but it is going to be smoked away from by Spirit. Smeb's in there. Oh my God, KT are tearing them apart. Triple kill there for the... Vladimir in the mid lane and KT going off the arrow. Oh my goodness, that was a from downtown, but Kuro, he knows. And the blade build, yeah. if you guys are wondering, is blade into double zeal item. The Phantom Dance especially gives you some pseudo tankiness. And when you have 5% more lifesteal than you would have with blade before, as we'll hold that thought, because Pawn's really overextended. Yeah, Thrill of the Hunt is actually used, but Pawn's just dead. Don't know why he used his flash just there, as Kuro's looking to try and chase after score. Both of the invisible fast moving guys. Max HP damage. He would have died there, so Smeb gets away. Teleport is down for no gain, and now Score wants to kill Marin. Yep, and the arrow's gonna land, and Marin is most certainly dead. So, that uh, two minute cooldown that you were talking about, uh, full effect. If it was on a 25 second cooldown, it would have been fine, but no. My score. He's just running around. Being invisible is fun, I guess. But there's the flash into the dredge line. They land it. The pick could be real here on the score. Redemption comes down. Pawn just says, take me instead. It'll be fine as Deft is going to turn up eventually. The arrow does land everyone on top of one another. But it's two picks, one after the other. And in goes Kuro Smeb with another disengage ultimate here. But Spirit wants to lock him down this time. There's no flash to save him. And a freak of freaks, they get the fight that they were looking for. And this time they're... Uh, priority in terms of fights is... Mar and Terrapart Kuro, they don't have that big dedicated tank is now Smeb hiding Spirit around. That's Arrow on cooldown now, and remember, it's a larger cooldown. Equalizer. This build as the Equalizer comes in, oh, Pawn has to go into his pool, but Tucson immediately yeah. gets on top of him. Kuro is going to pick up that kill and score, is immediately going to die afterwards. The curtain call was there, and Marin up in that front line on this Rumble that does so much damage. Oh, there's another flash. Double Tucson flash. is so aggressive tonight. They just want to end the game. There's only four members of KT. Good wave there, but they're going to try for it. Yeah, this sort of... Look at that. Oh, Death gets kicked back. Spirit is having the game of his life right now. Smeb's going to die at the same time. A double for Kramer. It, Nexus turrets are going to be wiped off the map. And in such a strange game... Afrika take down KT in what feels like just a step-by-step -step process. Now what you'll see, and the reason, I love the fact that you caught step-by-step -step because they didn't make many mistakes here, Atlas. That was not the Afrika freaks of the first round, Rob. And of course, you're going to say the same thing about KT, but they were pretty ruthless. You saw KT funneling into one of those famous equalizer spots. Equalizer started things. Pawn died without the Zonias being used, and they ended the game. I love Oove in the booth, looking pretty damn stoked because his charges do not look like an also ran of the gauntlet. They look like a contender. We might have a team interview with them soon as, speaking of teams, we look over to the side of KT Rolster. Remember, Afrika blind picked both Soul and said, well, we're good at Talon and Rumble. You guys work it out. And with all those counter picks and information, 